Let's install this magnetic screen door today. Right here on this door. Let's do it. So here's what's in the bag, the instructions, some magnets, some tacks, and the screen door itself. So the first thing you do is you have to get this out and determine if it's too long for your door. I'm just gonna put it up against my door. And it looks like if I put it all the way up at the top of the frame, it's gonna be right about the bottom. It says it needs to be about 0.5 centimeters from the bottom. Also, I found out that the uh, Velcro is for installing on metal or aluminum frame doors. And the tacks, according to the instructions, are the only thing you need for a wooden frame door. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the Velcro anyway. That'll at least hold it up there for me while I tack it in place. I think it'll be easier to install that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've already cleaned off uh, the frames. I need to make sure it's clean from any grime so that the adhesive of the Velcro sticks. So I'm gonna roll this Velcro just enough to what I need for the top. Then I'm going to get it about centered. That's the middle right there. Yeah, to me it'd be kind of awkward to hang this thing up without the Velcro because you'd have to try to tack it in and have to have somebody else help with me and I don't have that right now, so. The thumbtacks that come with it are very long, or pretty long, so they should reach all the way through the Velcro to the door frame. And just a side note while we're here, if, the, if your screen door is too long, you literally just take the top and fold it over however much you need to to get it 0.5 centimeters from the ground. So you basically literally, literally fold this over and then tack in like that, however high you need to pull it up. So you would have a folded piece hanging down uh, depending on how short your door is. If you're on a metal door, then you would fold it enough in such a way that the Velcro is still exposed so that you can still attach it to the Velcro along the top. You just do a couple of folds and it goes like that. All right, since mine is too wide, I think I'm just gonna literally, I'm gonna hem it. I'm literally just gonna pull it up and fold it over until it's the width of my door. And then I'll just hammer an attack right there on the corner. And then what I'll do is going down I'll just bend it over and put a tack into the, the Velcro strip all the way down. All right, and the installation is done. So you can see, so now what remains is to test it. Stuck to the metal door. So if I got the door open, not too shabby. Um, the one thing I feel like when I'm coming through it, I feel like I'm wanting to swing it wide open, but you got to be careful not to because it is attacked to the bottom. So it almost feels like it's a little narrow, but probably get used to it a little bit so well <clears throat> now I just have to wait and see how long it actually lasts so maybe I'll do a follow-up video to this one later on I hope this was helpful for you I like to look at videos myself whenever I'm looking at something I've never done just to see what I'm getting into so maybe this was uh, a benefit for you if it was leave a comment and hit the like button thanks and I'll see you next time